Hello everyone got glad to see such a nice response in my first attempt of making a youtube video so that motivated me to make another video on the intensive opportunities which generally the mechanical engineers at vit what they get generally so i had this doubt during my first and second year i had the commotion that uh, which all companies come what they offer how do we get internship or not or do we not get we sit unemployed how it phases out there was no one to guide me so i thought this might be a good topic to make a video on so as i mentioned in the previous video also now i will repeat again for the new viewers that i am currently third year student just came to fourth year and pretty much that's it so let's start with the video a small disclaimer whatever i am going to say in this slides and in the video that's solely based on what i have experienced in the college and what all co uh, companies came during my tenure in the college this might be vary when you will be there in the second or third year because nobody can predict which companies can come when and it's all dynamic and over so the first form it's not a direct company or anything just wanted to include as i am talking about internships and all many will have doubt so basically first of all i'll introduce what is this tbi tba is the like short form of technology business incubator is uh, the government of india has basically started the tbi thing in all the colleges over the country where uh, that's a sole department which will motivate the uh, motivate the growth of startups among the students you can try searching for inside fpv they have come on start time also so they all started off from this tbi only so during first year itself you might be getting Uh, emails from college over intensives at TBI. There are basically there are students like you only who go there and build up a company and start at a small scale of group with a group of students. So from first year itself, you might start getting emails. So just don't jump over it like guessing. Okay, if you want intensive, we'll do anything. Basically, most mails. What I would say is not that. Um, beneficial they mostly look one are new by students on managing for managing roles or hr roles mostly video editing types most of the roles are for cs website building the general related to that only but considering mechanical core hardly few companies have requirements for cad design the computer aided design or solid works and all so if you want to just um, start up somewhere experience something you might go over there just in case if they ask you for money just my suggestion is avoid it otherwise if you want to build connections over there just want to experience something you can try over it because in any way in first year or mostly in second year you are going to sit idle only so you can try going over there after that another thing which is like very good initiative by vit specifically by smec the school of mechanical engineering is the inc inc is the short form of industry academy and networking conclave basically the college tie ups ties up with uh, various industries and organization major industries and it is like a two to three days program where the employees over there like in top most positions they come over here hold sessions with you they share their knowledge like how, which type of students they want how they want the future to be like which skills you want like they want when you will be aspiring to work over there and the most important thing is under inc you will be getting a lot of competitions like designathons and hackathons it just basically started during last or 2 to 3 years only it has started so if you win any competitions over here that gives a direct access to Uh, to working to work with them and get a direct internship just by winning a single competition so it's pretty much a, like the uh, shortest and easiest path for you and it gives you an early start and without having to give exams and interviews and all so basically if i speak about the 2025 version of the inc thing there were many companies major companies like blue star and boeing volvo airbus so renault they all came for sessions and competition saint gobain a glass making company was there it had its own competition on material science material properties on the glass gk and aerospace is another like top uh, aerospace company it um, asked the students to build their airplane prototype uh, small rc scale airplanes and the 
student group who won it also got an interesting opportunity to work at aerospace company like at just second or third year of getting an internship just by winning a single competition that itself is a big deal basically the people who solved it just got direct entry into the company so that's what i am saying if you join these type of competitions even if you don't know anything just try joining in you who knows you might just get into it it also allows you to have a cross domain knowledge like not only in mechanical but you also you can get uh, idea on electrical on coding itself you just get a wholesome all around development when you try enrolling in such competitions also if you are in organization committee the school also allows you uh, gives you the opportunity to organize such events so when you uh, interact with the professors coming over you can also get their contacts and build your networks in which you can later on if you need the internship they might allow you so it's quite a good deal the, you can try visiting the website link given over here in the bottom not many people know about it and many people just ignore over it as they get holidays in when this goes on so that's why they ignore it but it's quite a beneficial thing and it just makes a life quite easy i have lo- many friends of mine who just got into quite good com- company just by winning a competition so it just uh, gives a quick boost over in your career quick after that we will be moving on to the direct companies which came over these start coming during the third year itself before third year they don't come so during third year only they come for the summer internship for the basically the gap between third year and fourth year so basically i will be laying down all the eligibility criteria and what uh, stipend they provide if they provide any ctc like ppo job offers later on or not so you can get a i uh, get an idea like how much percentage of cgpa you need for sitting or getting eligible so the first company which ignited us quite a lot was pernod ricard you can try searching over for the company in google we all applied for it but sadly there was no response from their side again so it just ghosted us up basically that was it the second company which came was saint goben saint goben is basically a glass making company it uh, offered two roles both you can try pausing the video over and get a screenshot of it or read through it one was on sales department and other was core engineering department so it was basically offering two roles basically what if i go through the procedure how it happens the company comes we get a jd jd is basically a job description you can go through what uh, the job expects from you and after that if if you decide to apply for it you apply fill the form and apply then you get shortlisted based based on what uh, eligibility criteria you have whatever percentage required from the company if you satisfy it you get shortlisted for it after shortlisting you might have an exam if the company it depends to come from company to company most companies have an online exam so the shortlisted people get an opportunity to give an online exam once you do good in online exam you then from that uh, people are shortlisted the people who do good in the exam are shortlisted for further interviews you might have group discussion and all and after that interview so it all depends from company to company so this company demanded 80 percent in 10th and 12th and 8 plus cgpa with a stipend of 35000 so basically uh, we all were eligible to fill it but when after the shortlisting thing basically the college and company decides on whom to shortlist it or not irrespective of the criteria what they define whatever criteria they define that doesn't affect who, how you are getting shortlisted so for example in this company it allowed 80% of people but during shortlisting only girls were shortlisted so that's not a shocking thing that happens company to company there's we cannot complain on it but once the girls were shortlisted but after that also there was no result reply from the company so here also no result was there so none were selected over here after this is tvs tvs is quite a common word you might have heard it makes motorcycles and scooters so tvs has basically an integrated iip program which runs over mostly in the southern belt the college is present in the southern belt between chennai and bangalore you can see the lucrative offers given over here it provide quite a lucrative offer with a decent stipend this was the eligibility criteria it had above 70% but again as i am repeating 
the eligibility criteria doesn't define who is going to be shortlisted or not here also we all were eligible to apply but once the shortlist came only the people having around 9 cgp around 8.9 on above 9 and having decent projects with them only were shortlisted for the exam after the exam we had interviews very few people were selected mostly they were girls and from few boys were selected but they were not of vellore campus so after the interviews also very few students around like seven students were selected and many people also have doubts like which campus gets priority in in the placement so i i would like to mention over here right it's quite a mix vit chennai we are students also get equal opportunities vit vellore and i think vit bhopal also like basically they have registration number uh, noted over there so we don't get to know who is from which campus so overall it's like decent everyone gets equal opportunities there is no bias or something like that then the next company which came was daimler daimler is basically a subsidiary of mercedes which makes trucks and buses you might have heard the name bharat benz it basically builds truck and bus chassis over here in india in chennai it has a factory near poragamandalam so it offered a stipend of around 12000 per month and obviously everyone wanted to join the mercedes and it was quite a very good company and it uh, promised a ctc of 7.5 lakhs if you worked good in the intensive basic eligibility criteria was there around 70% and 7 plus cgpa without no current backlog like most of the companies that that is again a point to be noted try to maintain no backlog and no academic break basically the ones who are thinking of taking a drop and have joined the vit after taking a drop in most cases they are also again not allowed to sit for jobs so again it's another reason for not taking a drop and not getting backlog so here also we got as we were all eligible so we filled the form and mostly everyone was shortlisted here nothing extra happened after that we got to give the online exam after online exam also everyone like those who did good were selected for further round there was a group discussion basically in vit vellore campus students from vit chennai had to come to vellore then the officers from daimler bharat benz group came over there and took our gd group discussion in gd for gd around 60 people were selected among us and from that 60 they selected further around 30 to 35 people for interviews after the group discussion and in the interview after the interview they selected around five students around which i think two boys were there from vellore campus and rest uh, i think two to three girls were there from chennai and vellore campus mixed together so that's it basically they are currently working doing the internship over there now and working on quite good projects so the next company which came was jindal steel and power or basically jspl is the short form they also had a basic like eligible criteria of 60% marks in both 10th and 12th and again no active backlog and not more than one year academic break and had a decent stipend of 40000 per month which is quite good considering the current scenario and all again we were all eligible to apply but after uh, applying the shortlist criteria came in during which we got to know that only the people having more than 90% in 10th and around 80 but uh, more than 80 to 85% in 12th were only selected so again i would like to yeah, as you can only say that um, whatever eligibility criteria is there it doesn't affect how you are getting shortlisted after getting shortlisted you just the general uh, procedure we had an online exam we gave the online exam after online exam few people were removed and we are further process into the interview we had an online interview with the officials uh, whole do- mechanical domain questions were there from all the subjects the students who did good in the interview were selected so in overall i think around 20 to 25 students were selected they were further distributed into four different plant locations present over there in odisha jharkhand and chatisgarh so pretty was it was a good deal and not only mechanical other department guys were also selected so that was a good opportunity for us so basically this was it this much companies only came it is up to you like i just gave a general overview in which companies came and how the basic uh, interview process happens 
if you want any like personal doubts or on you can try following me over here on instagram or you can try checking out the other videos over there which i have made so thank you